Hello everybody, Swami Nath here. Today we are going to see integration between SD and MM. They may ask you in the interview, definite interview questions, one of the definite interview questions, SAP, MM, SD and FICO inter integration. All the three are getting integrated in one business process called individual purchase order. Individual purchase order. I have put lots of videos on this individual purchase order. If you want to check it, just check the description below. You will there will be a description description below. Check the description. Okay. Now they may ask you what is the definition and what to see process involved. In. Okay. The definition is nothing but get the material from outside, sell that is get the buy the material from the vendor, sell it to the customer. That is the definition. Okay. The, it is mainly for the trading material. Most of the companies they do trade trading also. Not only the manufacturing, they do trading also. And they may ask you what is the item category. Okay, the item category is PANC in material master bands. I'll just show you in the live system itself. Okay, PANC. You have to create PANC. And the definition I have already told you. Okay. Get the material from the vendor, sell it to the customer. Okay, customer gives the order and company gives the order to the vendor. Vendor in turn supplies the material and company in turn supplies the material to the customer. Vice versa. Okay. Now, they may ask you the movement type, standard movement type. Okay. For goods receipt 101, for goods issue 601. Okay. Now, integration with FICO, MM, SD, FICO, all the three are getting integrated here. Okay. The first, this is very, very important question. I'll show you in the live system itself. Purchase order account assignment. How the purchase order is getting assigned? How the purchase order, in the purchase order itself, with the... Uh, FICO is getting integrated. I'll just show you where it is. Okay, let's go directly into the system for this. Okay. MB51. Let's go to MB51. So this is my material. I have already created an individual purchase order here. Execute. Okay, this is my this is my purchase order. Material. Purchase order, material down. Double link. 101. 101 is purchase order, goods, goods receipting. Okay, let's go to, let's go to the left. See, this is my purchase order. Let me double link onto this purchase order. Okay, now go to account assignment, account assignment. See, GL account, 792 triple zero. From where this is coming in the sense, go to, let me open, go to another screen. OME9, go to OME9, OME9, and this account assignment category is M, M, okay, M, M, okay, account assignment category, OME9, go to OME9, present, see it, from here it is coming, OME9, M, from here it is coming, okay, double leg, Account assignment category is M for individual purchase order. M for individual purchase order. Okay. This is the place where this is the place where you the account assignment category is being created. And from where it is coming that this 7900 from where it is coming OBYC. Transaction code OBYC. Let's go to OBYC. Slash OBYC. They may ask you this question for sure. Okay. BSX, inventory posting, BSX. I18, internet, chart of account, enter the chart of account, continue, continue. Okay. 792 triple zero. This is the from this is the place I'm getting. 792 triple zero. This is the place. 7900 from where it is coming. Let's go, let's go to the purchase order screen. Double link onto this material. This is Metal Master. Display Metal Master. Go to Accounting 7900. See here, Valuation Class 7900. Okay. From here it is coming. From this place it is coming. 792000. Okay. In the purchase order, go to Now, come back. 792000. You get it from OBYC BSX. Inventory post. This they may ask you for sure. This question is sure question. Okay. This is where 
MM, SD, FI, so all the three are getting integrated in this place. Okay, now let's go to the next slide. Okay. Now, goods reserved. For goods reserved, what is the integration with FICO? They may ask you, PRD and WRX. Let's go to the system and check it. Let's go to the system. Come back. For goods reserved, go to, this is my 101. See, 101. 101 moment time. Okay, 101 moment time. 101 moment type. FI document. Go to FI document. See, accounting document, double A. See here, WRX PRD. Okay, what is WRX? WRX is nothing but GRIR clearing, external procurement. PRD is cost price differences. These two are integrated. Let's go to OBYC transaction. Everything is in OBYC transaction code. PRD, PRD. Go to PRD. Page down. Page down. PRD. Double click onto this line item. PRD. Okay. 7900. See, from here it is done. 231500. 231500. Okay. 231500. Okay. Got it clear? Next step. Go to the screen, come back, WRX, WRX, see it, double click onto this line item, WRX, one double nine, double one zero, one double, one nine, double one zero, here it is, check it, I'm just tracing it, one, one nine, double one, double zero, I'm just tracing it, one nine, double one, double zero, okay, got it, now come back. Close this. Come back, press escape to come out. Now, let's go to the next slide. Next slide. Goods issue. Goods issue. Let's go here. I have shown you this. Next goods issue. BSX, inventory posting and WRX. Okay. Goods issue. Okay. Let's double link onto the 601 tra tra goods issue. 601 is goods issue. Okay. Click on to FI document. Accounting document. Double click. See here. BSX. 792 triple zero. BSX. 792 Go to OBYC. BSX. OBYC. BSX. Scroll down. BSX. Double click onto this line item, press enter. What is the 792 triple zero? Go to the screen. 792 triple zero. See here, 792 triple zero. So this is where it is getting integrated. Okay, now come back. Let's come back to this also. Close this. This is where it is getting integrated. And final question they may ask you. Let's see. And uh, they may ask you moment types. Okay. Definitions. And finally, they may ask you integration with the FIC. All the three they may ask. Thank you.